On today's video, I'll tell you how to make your decals look like they were painted on. Alright, so first we're going to go over the tools that you need uh, to do your decals correctly and make sure that they come out uh, flawlessly. I would recommend a pair of locking tweezers. These, it's not strictly necessary to have locking tweezers, but it's really helpful because uh, then you don't have to hold the decal in the water. You can just kind of leave it there while you uh, do other prep work. So handy to have, not necessarily required though. You'll also need uh, some gloss varnish. Um, I prefer Vallejo. Vallejo is a really great brand. This is brush on. It's very easy to use. Uh, provides a nice smooth finish, which is what you want. So definitely recommend that. And then you'll also want some Microsol. So this is setting solution for decals. Uh, it will soften them so that they will conform properly to the curved surfaces of your shoulder pads or wherever you're putting it. It makes it really, uh, really easy to have that really flush, nice painted on look. A lot of people also recommend micro set. I don't think it's necessary uh, to use that if you're using the gloss varnish. The gloss varnish has the same effect um, and I've never had any issues. So Microsol is, is all I use uh, for that. And then you'll need some uh, cheap uh, brushes. Um, I just use a couple of old brushes that I have. Um, you'll want one to apply the gloss varnish. Um, I don't use my regular uh, paint brushes for that. Uh, and then you'll want one for uh, applying and smoothing out the decal. So you'll want one that's, you know, uh, just to do that with. Uh, that's all I use it for. Again, I don't use my regular paint brushes for that. Um, and then of course, you'll need some decals. So uh, today we're going to use uh, these decals from The Mighty Brush. Really nice decals. I've been really pleased with them. I've not had any issues with them at all so far. Something to, uh, to note, um, when you're using decals, you want to have that gloss varnish on there because, as you can see here, there is a clear carrier film, that's what it's called, around the actual image and you want that to disappear and the gloss varnish along with a matte uh, a flat dull coat uh, afterwards will do that for you all right so the first step here is we're going to paint a nice thin coat of the gloss varnish onto the area where we want the decal uh, to be so don't need a lot just nice thin coat it goes on easy washes off with water Just make sure you cover uh, the area surrounding so that you have a large enough area uh, so that the entire decal will fit on the gloss varnish. All right, so now that our uh, gloss varnish is dry, uh, we're going to uh, begin uh, putting the decal on. So I've got my uh, decal all cut out here. Uh, you'll make sure that when you're using, especially if you're using locking tweezers, um, you want to hold it so that the carrier, it's not touching the carrier film. Otherwise, uh, you won't be able to slide your decal off. So I'm going to dip that in water and let that begin uh, separating from the backing paper. And while we do that, I'm going to get just a little bit of micro saw out here. And we're going to put that on the, uh, the shoulder pad here and just get this a little bit damp then don't have to have a lot on it all right so now our decal should be uh, just about ready here and you're going to take the bottom of your paintbrush here and just gently try to move it around and when it moves nice and easily like that you know that it's ready so uh, now we're going to take our shoulder pad here and we're just going to hold it about where we want it to go and slide it right off All right, so obviously it's crooked. That's totally fine. This is why that we put the um, uh, the micro saw on it first a little bit because when it's nice and wet, we might have to get a little bit more here. We want to we'll be able to move it around. And you just gently kind of move it into place. And 
see if you get too much it'll it'll slide around very easily So that's pretty good right about there. So now we're going to take a little bit of uh, rolled up uh, tissue paper and we're just going to, uh, or, or paper towel, and we're just going to kind of dab it just a little bit here to soak up some of that excess moisture from the microsol and the water from the decal. Um, all right, so it's a little hard, but you can kind of see there, see it's starting to wrinkle a little bit. And that's okay. So uh, we're just going to smooth that out um, with the brush being a little bit damp with some Microsol. And just wipe off any excess on your finger. And we're just going to take this and gently apply it. And you just have to be gentle with it. And it will still move on you a little bit. So you just have to be aware of that as you smooth it out. You're basically just making sure that it's going to lay flat, smoothing out any wrinkles, making sure that it adheres to the contours of whatever you're using it on. All right, so uh, once you're done applying your decal, you're going to let it dry. I recommend letting it dry preferably overnight, about eight hours or so is usually enough time for it to completely air out and dry so that you make sure that there's no moisture left on it at all, because if you dull coat it with moisture uh, still on it it can um, show that film can show back up the carrier film or it can end up with wrinkles or whatnot so um, make sure it's fully dry and then you're gonna apply a matte varnish um, I prefer the uh, Vallejo acrylic matte varnish right here um, it is an absolute dead flat uh, matte spray um, so it's gonna have it's going to be absolutely flat. Um, it will blend the carrier film along with the decal into your paint. And uh, you can see here's the here's our final result right here. And you can see just how flat that is and how painted on that looks. So um, and uh, here are some uh, other examples. Um, you can see you got my Impulsor, one of my uh, Incursors, and my uh, Invictor Dreadnought shoulder pad um, here as well. Um, same result, same process I used here, just different size decals. Um, so really simple, easy process. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. I will uh, leave a link for the Mighty Brush uh, decals as well as the matte varnish uh, down there that I use and the gloss varnish uh, brush on from Vallejo. Uh, so that way you guys can know what what product to buy specifically so that about wraps it up for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to see more content like this hit that subscribe button and make sure you click the bell icon to get notified on all of our latest content uh, we have a patreon and we greatly appreciate their support so if you'd like to get some exclusive content or you'd just like to support the channel we really appreciate it also, be sure to check out our Discord. We have an active community of players on there where you can get lots of help or discussion on all things Black Templars. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.